<laughs> done and done. What's up, J.I.? What's happening? You good? I'm great. Cool. Uh, perfect. J.I., first of all, just, just take us through the summer, how, how you're feeling, how the rehab process is, is yeah. going along. I, f I feel fantastic. Um, I feel the best that I felt, you know, through this entire process. Um, you know, I, I've been telling everybody, I'm running, I'm jumping, I'm, I'm playing one on one, I'm doing all these things, and like, I'm, I'm finally, we're ready to kind of just really start putting it all together um, and ramping this thing up. I'm, I, I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I want to get on the court. I'm excited about it. And yeah, I, I know, you know, there's different organizations throughout the league. Some people could put pressure on on right. people. Some people could rush people along. Just how much have you felt the support from the organization since the beginning uh, of what they put behind you and rehabbing you along the right way? Yeah, they've been great. Um, you know, not even them putting the pressure on me. It's, it's like it's me putting the pressure on them. <laughs> to be honest with you, just like you know, let's go. Let's. Um, but I, I want to do this thing right, um, and I don't want to have any more injuries. So I, I, I want to you know take my time and, and and get this thing solidified and behind us all, and just get back to playing basketball. Obviously, you're not playing five on five yet, but how how close do you feel like you are skill wise to where you were before the before the injury, before even the skill first wise first knee injury? Um, I mean, skill wise, I, I feel like you know I, I'm the best basketball player that I've been so far um, when it comes to shooting the ball and just feeling comfortable out there. Um, I feel great, you know, skill wise and all that, ball handling and all that. Okay, if you kind of reflect over the last couple of years, what have you learned about the game of basketball that you maybe wouldn't have picked up on if you're playing? 30, 35 minutes a game, just you know, watching and kind of reflecting on the game. What have I learned about the game of basketball? Um, I would say just that, just from the outside looking in, is that you can't cheat it. Um, and you know, when I look at our team and I see, you know, we're young, we're, we're excited, um, and we're hungry. But at the end of the day, it's about the work. And uh, um, if a team is better than us right now, then we got to work that much harder to catch them. And uh, um, that's what I've been preaching, and that's what you know I'm gonna you know, roll into training camp with and talking about with these guys, and um, you know I want for myself and the entire organization and team. Jay, yeah, you've been talking about you just mentioned what you've been preaching. How has your NBA game and your life been going along with you being a preacher? <laughs> How does that work together? Pastor, well, Pastor slams ball. Other. Well, I'm not a pastor. Uh, um, you know, I, I speak at my church every now and then. Um, but no, I mean, I, I, it's just a facet of my life. I love the game of basketball. I love the word of God. And, um, you know, I'm, when I'm out here playing ball, I'm playing ball. And I definitely use a lot of that stuff to, you know, get my mind where it needs to be and focused and, you know, calm and, and ready to go. Um, and I'm, I'm just excited to be playing basketball again. Jonathan, you seem like you, you feel like you might be ready to get back on the floor. What, what's been the messaging from the team in terms of like final hurdles that you need to clear uh, to re resume full activity? Well, th there, there are no more hurdles um, that we have to clear. We've kind of hit these different you know points of like the sprinting work, the, 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 the jumping work, the, the body contact work, and now it's time to like, can we put it all together with, you know, with the way that we're working out, you know, where it's like, okay, you're guarding this guy, then you're on offense over here, and then you're hitting this guy. Can we put it all together and do it enough to where we feel comfortable to let you out there? Um, if it's on me, I'm like, I feel comfortable right now. But, um, you know, it's, it's you know they're going to give me their timeline and um, just, you know, take it one day at a time and attack it and be ready to go. No, uh, not in terms of like when they feel like it's going to be something, you know, specific. Um, I think it's just the way my body responds. So as we ramp this thing up, can I, can I, can I do it multiple days in a row of running, jumping, hitting, sprinting, dunking, um, and be okay? Or is it going to be, you know, two to three days? And like, okay, I need a break just based on how I'm feeling. Because a lot of this stuff, I, you know, I haven't done, you know, in a, in a, you know, at game speed. And so um, I'm just excited to hear that word game speed again and be at, you know, be ready to ramp to game speed. My bad. And uh, um, so yeah. This is a, this is a very different team since when you first became part of the organization. What have you seen from? Guys like Paolo, guys like Caleb. I think it's just special. I think it's special. Um, you know, you guys are going to be extremely excited about Paolo. He's young, he's big, he's mobile. Um, and just the size that we have, like the, the, the lineups that we're going to be able to have this season are going to be scary, um, honestly, with the, with the size and versatility of the guys that we have on this team. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. And I, I think for me, it's just can we get to a mindset um, that is, you know, you know, best related to us winning games. Like we have the we have the pieces, we have the young core, we have all that stuff. Can we can we walk into games like we believe that we can win? Um, or are we going to be the you know the young kids on the block? And so uh, yeah. You know, Jay, I, first of 
for, for some teams, you know, when, when you get back to, to fully practicing against these guys, you, you might be the tallest or longest guy on a team. But yeah. for this team, you have Bobo, you have Mo Bamba, you have other guys who are big and long. Just how much can that help this group in a practice setting continue to elevate their play and, you know, kind of along the old lines of iron sharpens iron, uh, continue to elevate each other? Yeah, I mean, it, it, we're challenging each other. Um, you know, no, nobody's getting anything given to them. Um, and having that size even 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 helps because you, you, know, you can't you can't sneak anything by and so uh, You know the size is exciting the length is exciting the shooting capability with length and size is exciting um, And I just can't wait for it all to kind of really mesh together and be cohesive So Jonathan going in the training pit, would, would you describe yourself as a hundred percent recovery? From in terms of recovery, yes um, in terms of being in game shape and being ready to play game speed, no, and, and so exactly, and so I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in drills in training camp. I'm not gonna be in obviously the, the full court run, you know, five on five. Um, but in terms of recovery, I'm I'm recovered. I'm at a place of of now. Just can we get this guy to game shape and um, being game ready? Being a defensive specialist for most of your career, you have an eye for what makes a really good defender. What can you speak to uh, Jalen Suggs' uh, defensive ability? What makes him such a good defender? I, I think the, the first step on being a, def, a, a, a great defender, I mean, I'm not even saying that like, I, uh, like I'm that you know, guy or whatever, but it's, it's mentality. And I think coming from football, he has that kind of dog mentality when it comes to playing defense. And at the end of the day, it's a want. Um, you know, you got to want to play defense to be a great defender. And um, him, um, you know, the, just, again, like his size, he's, you know, he's, a, he's, he's strong, he's fast, um, and he has that want factor on defense. And so um, I can't wait to really share the floor with him and see what we can do. Chris Mosley's talked all offseason about this team leveling up and you, Terrence, Markel, and Mo, Mo Bamba, I think are the only guys that have been on this team. Yeah. But from the, from the previous iteration of this team that made the playoffs, what what does leveling up mean to you for, for from this group? You know, having been around having been around them, maybe not playing with them yet, but, but having been around them and, and how can you help this team with, with your experience and your playoff experience help them kind of reach those goals? Yeah, I mean, a, a bit of what I talked about before. Um, we we have we have the pieces in house. We have the training facility. All the things that we have. Leveling up is going to be mentality. Um, do we believe that we can win? Do we believe that we can really bring championships here? Um, and then can we put 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 the work in? And so um, again, that's been my message, and that's what I'm going to be preaching all training camp. That's what I'm going to be preaching all season. Um, yeah, talk is cheap. You know, we got to go out there and put the work in and believe that we can beat these teams that are going to roll in here and think that they're just playing against the same old Orlando Magic, but it's not happening. And so uh, we're excited about it and we're ready to go. Jonathan, have you uh, prepared your hurricane supplies yet? Uh, I have not. You know, honestly, I really haven't paid much attention to that. So I probably need to. I need to call my wife. <laughs> let, it, let, it, let it get things situated. Yeah, thank you. Jonathan, just given the amount of time that you've missed, is there any sense of feeling you need to prove yourself again to these guys in the league when you come back? I, I wouldn't say, at the end of the day, it, what, what's going to happen is going to happen. So in terms of like going out there with a chip on my shoulder, like I need to prove something, um, my game is my game. And I know that I can still play it at a high level and a higher level than I've ever played it before. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be ready to go. And I'm excited to play. And, and I'm excited to find out the, the player that I'm going to be. Um, and I know that I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what I can be in this league. And so, uh, yeah. What kind of emotions are you going to be feeling uh, uh, going forward, the first time you step out on the court, specifically at home? Uh, I would say, honestly, gratefulness. Um, you know, even to be doing this again, I wasn't really that involved in the last media day. Um, I'm grateful to be out here. I'm grateful to be with the guys again. And, and when my feet do touch the floor again, I'm just going to be grateful. You know, God has been good to me um, through my ups and through my downs. And um, to touch the floor again and be ready to play NBA basketball is definitely going to be just the overwhelming sense of, of gratefulness, you know, to God and, and to this organization for still believing in me and keeping me around. Yeah, I think I fit in great. Guys see me kind of as like a, a, a big brother, um, even though I'm like the same age as them. They feel like I'm, a, I'm, I'm mature for some reason. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always there for them. Uh, for them. Um, you know, going through injuries has definitely given me a sense of being able to identify with other guys, you know, who go down and get injured or anything like that. But every guy on this team knows that I'm there for them. Um, and I'd be there for them at the drop of a hat. And so, uh, 
uh, you know, it's, it's all love, it's all respect, and, um, you know, they know I just want to win and I just want to get back. And it, just as much as I'm excited to play, I promise you they're just as, just as excited to get me back. And so we talk about it every day. Whenever they see me, they're like, when are you ready? When are you ready? When are you ready? And so um, I can't wait to put it together. you feel like a veteran now? <laughs> kind of. Um, uh, not going to lie, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm there yet. Um, but just with this team, we're, we're so young. You know, I, I, I'm one of the kind of the most tenured players in, on the team. And so uh, you know, I definitely feel like I have something to say or a mentality that can rub off on these young guys and, and get them, you know, into shape. Uh, you haven't played under Coach Mosley, obviously. Right. Have you talked with him at all about kind of what he expects from you or your role? Or uh, I, role I've had a ton of conversations with Coach Mose, um, and he's excited. I'm excited. He, you know, every time I see him, he says one day at a time. You know, he can't wait to get me back. And so, uh, you know, uh, I, I can't wait to play for him. You know, he's, he's just a, a great coach. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm excited to, to get into the schemes and the offense and the defense and all that stuff.